Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Yasmin. If you've already watched my video, thank you so much for being here once again. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. So it's been about two months now that I've cleaned them. They're super filthy, like so dirty, and I have so many to clean. Like I have another little jar right here, so I have a lot to um, get done. And especially my face brushes, they're like horrible. Um, I need new makeup brushes um, for the face. Like this one, the, the shape is so off. Um, that's the M439 by Morphe. Um, so I like to use Sote. This is only a dollar at Dollar Tree or Walmart. Um, I really like how clean it leaves my brushes. I've used it for a long time, um, but I've just now seen it pop up all over social media where it's become very popular. Um, and that's because it does really work. Um, for me personally, it does not dry out my brushes, so I really like to use it. I know some people say that it does and that it's bad for them, but I've never had an issue with it. Um, so what I do is usually just open it up, lay near the sink with my brush, and then just like rub it in there. Um, but today, I want to go ahead and try the TikTok hack where you put it in a little jar with hot water. And that way it becomes easier to like store your brush in there. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, and yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I get my brushes nice and clean, please keep on watching. Okay, so obviously you need a bar of soap. Let me just go ahead and open this up. So this is how it looks like. The soap is very soft, so it's easy to grate. So I'm going to take this cheese grater and just grate about half of the soap. This is how it looks like and then I'm taking this jar and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that in there. Just pack it up nice and tight. And I have my boiling water over here already and then I'm going to go ahead and pour that into the jar and let it sit for a little bit. Okay, so I actually um, put this in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Um, I don't think I was supposed to do that, but it definitely helped make it um, hard. It's really, really hard already, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to wash my brushes now. So now I am in my restroom. This is my little setup for when I clean my makeup brushes. Um, I like to get two jars of water just to conserve water and not have it running the whole time. And this is how the soap looked. So I think it worked. It definitely um, will make it easier for me to wash my brushes. And then I'm just taking this little silicone egg thing from Dollar Tree that I bought and then dipping my eye brush into the clean water and then into the soap and then rubbing it around the silicone egg. And then I'm also going to dip it into the second jar of water to um, clean the brush. And I like to do this process twice, even though the brush should be um, pretty clean after one time. Um, now you can see the soap sets are actually white, so that means that it's squeaky clean and good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse that off and then repeat this process with the rest of my brushes. So I'm finally onto my face brushes. I swear this takes forever, but I feel like it's very important to clean each brush individually and really focus on getting all the dirt off um, to avoid any breakouts. This is a brush I use for concealer and you know, as you guys can see, it's really, really bad. Um, you guys can see all that gunk coming out, but after it's going to be nice and clean. So yeah, and then I do rinse this little egg thing. Um, here and there just because um the concealer gets stuck to it so you'll see me doing that a little bit and 
And I usually use the Real Techniques, um, the big pink uh, brush cleaner thingy. I have no idea what to call these, okay? I'm sorry, but um, I'll insert a picture here so you know what I'm talking about. And that makes it way easier to clean your face brushes because they're obviously bigger, um, but I don't have it with me. I lost it somewhere, so this is what I'm using today, but um, just know that it is easier to use the bigger one. So these are all my makeup brushes washed. I just laid them down on a little rag to dry overnight. Um, I did also wash my beauty blenders. So my face brushes are right there. I didn't clean the handles as you can tell, they're so dirty, but it's just too much work. I took maybe like an hour and a half. And these are all my eye brushes. It didn't seem like a lot, but it was so much work. It took me maybe like an hour and a half and I can honestly pay someone to do this. Um, as you can see, I still have a lot of the product left um, from that soap. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it for next time. And this little guy did its job. It was just very challenging with the face brushes since it's like a tiny surface to work on. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave these to dry overnight. And we should be good for uh, tomorrow or by the end of tomorrow night. So my makeup brushes are drying. It usually takes about a day for the face brushes to dry and maybe like half a day for the eye brushes um, to dry since they're a little bit smaller. You can also use a blow dryer and blow dry them, but that's a little bit too much work for me. So I just let them dry on their own. And also you don't want to dry them with the handle like downward because the water will drip to the handle and then it will cause the handle to break off. That has happened to me sometimes. So just lay them flat on a table and you should be good to go. So that was it for today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you guys found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what other techniques you guys like to use to wash your makeup brushes. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page.